welcome or welcome back to Baby the Guru channel. I'm glad you guys are able to join me today. So today we're going to talk about um, whether or not you should babysit the kids while they are sick. So let's get deeper into that topic and let's get started. So guys, today we're going to talk about whether or not you should babysit the kids while they are sick. I know you have to make your money, totally understand. And parents tend, you know, they need someone to wash their kids even though they're sick. But I'll dive deeper in whether or not you should, um, depending on what type of sickness they have at the time, okay? So firstly, let's just say you're on call as a babysitter and the parents call you or the guardian calls you and tells you, hey, is there any possible way you could come over and babysit for example, John for me today, um, just from two to four. He's a bit sick, he just has a basic cold. If that's the case, then go right ahead. There's only two, actually no, there's only three things I suggest that you do not go and babysit the child. If they have the flu, if they have an ear infection, or if they have a stomach virus, those are three things you do not go and babysit for. And hopefully the parents or the guardian knows better than to ask you to come and babysit their children if they have those three things. So remember, an ear infection, a stomach virus, or the flu, do not go and babysit. Stay far, far, far away from the kiddos. Um, they tend to get that stuff, especially if they're going to school or they're in daycare. That's when they get, tend to get that. Um, unfortunately, you know, um, daycares or schools or classrooms in general, they're like the breeding gown, ground um, for any type of sickness or illness that your child gets, unfortunately. Um, so that's why it's extremely um, important to get vaccinated. But before we even go into that, um, so those are the things that I suggest that you do not go and babysit. However, if they have like a basic cold or if they have like a basic cough, definitely go and babysit, especially if they're in need um, of help that day. Definitely do it. And on top of that, you get to make a little money. However, definitely be cautious. So if you are going to babysit a child who either has like a basic cold um, or a cough, make sure when you go there that you are sanitizing your hand at all times. I love this hand sanitizer that I have. Then I also have another hand sanitizer that I had showed on my previous videos a long time ago. So I always have hand sanitizer on me at all time. And make sure you're always washing your hands, soap and water all the time. Please, 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 just be cautious because remember, it's not like the kid is not sick, so they are sick, so you have to be even more cautious than before. So make sure you're hand sanitizing your hands and you wash your hands at all times. Also, make sure you do not put your face anywhere near the baby's face. I know they have the most scrumptious looking faces. You just want to kiss them or, you know, on the cheeks or like just play with their faces or just like, you know, squeeze their little itty bitty cheeks or play with them or play with their nose. You know, it's like itty bitty games that you love to play with them. Um, this time around, do not do that if they're sick, okay? So make sure your face is nowhere near their face. Just be cautious of that as well. Also, wear protective clothes. So if they are sick, wear some type of long sleeve. As you guys know, for me, I wear active wear. So I will have my leggings on at all times. And um, instead of wearing like a short sleeve shirt, I'll probably wear like a long sleeve. Um, and make sure my hair is up. Like I told you guys, my hair um, always tends to be up so that they're not pulling. And it depends on the type of hairstyle I have at that time. Because <laughs> my hairstyle varies. <laughs> um, so yes, so just make sure your hair is up. And then once you guys get home, you are immediately throwing those clothing into the washer, okay? Do not throw it in the hamper, throw it in the washer. And make sure you wash it um, for a long cycle, put a lot of um, dish detergent not dish detergent oh my god what am i saying laundry detergent in there um for hot water and let it run so so it doesn't you know contaminate all your other clothing or even your family members clothing if that's the case um so just very be cautious about that but i mean even the kids when they are a little sick they like to have a little fun so um when you are with them do like basic games have them run around and be energetic you do not want them to you know sit around because they know they don't feel well but if they have like a cold or basic cough 
they tend to be fine just be more energetic with them um make sure they're not sleeping for long periods of time whenever i'm babysitting and the child tends to have like a cold or a cough um they're breathing a little heavier when they're sleeping so you always have to be cautious about that make sure that you know they're breathing normally and that everything's okay um what i tend to do is i always have the monitor next to me at all times just to make sure that i could hear them and then i also run up and down just to make sure that they're breathing correctly um so that's something that is very very common if they have the cold or like a, or a cough something like that but yeah definitely be energetic with them i love doing the jumping jacks i love 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 jumping jacks or board games um you can do that also like running around just keep them energized give them lots of water but warm water so like bottled water um don't give them cold water um especially if it's in the refrigerator do not give them any type of cold water um usually the parents will inform you like if they're on any type of medication at the time to give it at a certain time exactly um the measurements for that medication um it's so funny so parents or guardians in just general who um cares for the child they love to get like the fruity i don't know if you guys ever paid attention but the medicines for kids are tend to be fruity because you all know kids like sugary stuff sweet stuff so they tend to be fruity how i do it and um sometimes the parents or the guardians even advise me to do it is put it in their drinks or um put it in their like a uh, solid foods and just mix it around but it's so funny because they know when it tastes different they'll make those like weird funny faces which i love because i tend to laugh all the time because they know when you're trying to mix medication in with their food it doesn't taste the same so i love 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 when they do that it's the cutest thing ever but make sure you give them that medication if they're supposed to be getting that medication make sure you give it to them at a certain time they're due to have medication um it varies some of them will be every four hours some of them will be every two hours and there's a certain amount that you're supposed to give them pay close attention to that um for example the family that i babysit for the mom tends to always have everything written down in a notepad for me to see so exactly how much um medication i'm supposed to give them exactly at what time so make sure when you do that you note it down that it was completed sometimes um, the parents or the guardians might text you hey were you able to give for example John the medication at 2 p.m. today just like that yep they have that medication everything is all set and good to go but in order for you guys to make sure you leave that house without any type of um, cold or cough please 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 be cautious be very clean wash your hands sanitize your hands be careful make sure your face is nowhere near the child's face um obviously your hands will be there just make sure you wash your hands and you sanitize your hands at all times just be very 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 cautious about that um the one thing i always suggest is to make sure their clothes are always changed and it's clean you do not want to keep on the same clothes throughout the day um and when kids are sick they don't like to you know um be exposed make sure their skin is not as exposed make sure they have long sleeves long pants on socks i am a huge fan of socks uh so this is the thing that i would tell you guys and maybe because it's like a cultural thing i was raised like a huge african family um always ensure that the feet the hands the neck and the head is covered that's like the number one thing you want to try to avoid when your child is trying to get sick like you know no one wants their kid to get sick so make sure those things are always covered the feet the hands the neck and the head make sure those four things are covered at all times so even if they're sick and they're in the house they are going to have socks on i always make sure the kids have socks on and that they have long sleeves on and long plants on um and like i said they tend not to want to be exposed like that so the baths may be limited for that time that they are sick um, i love putting um some type of like a moisturizer on them so keep make sure that they're moisturized and that they're not drinking or eating anything cold make sure everything is warm or lukewarm especially when it comes to water and um, some of them also have like a certain drinks that they'll be drinking like the pedialyte or something like that so like i said make sure it's always warm um and they love 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 this is the one thing i love and adore they love to cuddle when they're sick oh my goodness it's the most cutest thing that's why i always say when they do want to cuddle with you please make sure once you get home you throw those clothes into the washer okay because you know even though they want to cuddle and they're sick and stuff like that you do not want to have that 
um, once you get home or later on in the day. So make sure you throw those clothes in a washer. But they love to cuddle and that's how they fall asleep. Um, one of my babies, they love when you kind of rub their head. It's the cutest thing. So you rub their head while they're sleeping and they'll fall straight asleep even though they're sick. So they love to cuddle. They love to be next to someone when they're not feeling too well. Okay. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure meeting you guys and talking to you all. Um, please stay tuned for even a juicier topic next time. If you guys have anything you'd like to ask me or um, any suggestions I should talk about or you want more details on, please, please, please let me know. I look forward to hearing from you guys and please, please, please stay tuned for an even juicier topic. Thank you, gurus. Bye.